Godfall is our first look at an exclusive PlayStation 5 game. Like, sure we know that Watch Dogs Legion and the other upcoming Ubisoft games will come to the Series X and the PS5 as well, but they will also run on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and they actually have captured trailers with those platforms in mind. While Godfall doesn't have to worry about those older systems and gives an idea of what a next-gen game will look like. Like, this is all in-engine, and it seems to be a pretty big PS5 PS5 exclusive that Sony is getting behind. But what is Godfall and how does it play? How long has it been in development and who is the developer Counterplay Games? I collected all the info that we could find about this game and we'll share it all here in this video so we can set our expectations right and actually learn more about Sony's PlayStation 5 strategy. A like on the video would of course be awesome. And let's go. First up, Happy New Year, of course. This is the first video I make in 2020. I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. And because it's a very crowded year with a ton of new releases, I wanted to do a giveaway for any upcoming game of your choice on your platform of choice. All you need to do is follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win. Would be nice if you are a subscriber of the channel as well before you enter. And this giveaway will run for one month, looking at doing one each month. And I will announce the winner like on Twitter and also in a future video after the giveaway is ended. So in early February. And yes, you can totally choose Godfall as your game as well if you want. Maybe you already heard the phrase looter slasher because that is how the developers are describing this game. It's a third person melee oriented game that embraces offense over defense according to the developers. So kind of comparable to Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Sekiro, Bloodborne, stuff like that. And that's why I think we should not expect any shields in this game. There is ranged combat though, although that is limited to cooldowns or charges. So you can't like spam that. They are inspired by Monster Hunter in terms of weapon variety and combat, so it should kind of be similar to that. And they already confirmed multiple weapon types like swords, spears and a hammer, as can be spotted in a short GIF that was posted by PlayStation Lifestyle in their interview with the developers of this game. And there they also learned that you can actually carry two of these primary weapons with you at the same time and then switch between them during a mission. But yeah, overall the goal seems to be to smash your way through a level, then you earn gear along the way to change up your playstyle and become stronger, and then just do that over and over again. And there's way more to this game that I will touch on in a second, but a very interesting part is that Sony seems to be putting it out there as one of the big PS5 exclusive launch games. While Godfall was actually first slated as a title for next-gen consoles as noted on their website, even shortly after the announcement at the Game Awards. Now that it has been changed though to PC and PlayStation 5. But we can also go back to an article in 2018 on Polygon where we have an interview with the CEO where they note that they wanted to release the game in 2019 already. And in that article we actually see a teaser screenshot for the game. And I dug actually a little bit deeper and found another screenshot with the same character in the same looking world from around that same time. So this was in 2018 before the game was quote unquote officially announced at the Game Awards. So this was not a PlayStation 5 exclusive launch game from the beginning. My theory is that Gearbox got a hold of this game because they are now the publisher of this title. And then they went to Sony and striked a deal to get it as a PS5 exclusive. And I think it's by the way a limited time exclusive because the game is also coming to PC but to the Epic Game Store for 12 months. I would not be surprised if after these 12 months it came to Steam and also to the Xbox. In the PlayStation Lifestyle article it is noted that Counterplay Games is excited and honored to be selected by Sony to be a PS5 launch title. We plan to be alongside PlayStation every step of the way next year. Again confirming a deal between two parties and also that this game will very likely be part of the PlayStation 5 reveal event. Because yeah again they will be alongside alongside PlayStation every step of the way and of course a PS5 reveal event is one of those big pillars. Audrian MB reached out to me on Twitter with a very interesting point because they namely expect to reveal more information about Godfall in spring 2020 so between March 
19th and June 20th. So maybe that PlayStation 5 reveal event is not in February at all, as we all kind of expect right now, looking at the PS4 rollouts. But yeah, maybe things changed now that Microsoft already showed the Xbox Series X during the Game Awards, something that Sony was likely not anticipating. But yeah, it's very interesting that Sony let Godfall be the first announced PlayStation game, because Counterplay is a very unknown developer with around the 75 developers and actually a ton of employees who joined in 2019. Like I browsed around on LinkedIn and saw that many people that are working at Counterplay Games started last year. So likely when they got that extra budget from Epic Games that is known to pay pretty heavily for exclusive deals and Sony likely invested some nice money too. Godfall has been in development for quite a long time though because the previous and only game from Counterplay before this was a turn-based action game called Duelist that launched back in 2016. So more than three years ago already. It has an 82 on Metacritic with a 7.7 .7 user score. So for a first game that is pretty good and bodes well for Godfall of course. Now we only got one trailer for the game and this is actually the beginning where you pick one of the three characters. In the end though the choice doesn't really seem to matter because every character is the same but your playstyle depends on your gear and weapon. In the PlayStation Lifestyle interview the CEO of Counterplay says that you will be able to play all three of these heroes that you see in the trailer by acquiring and donning their armor sets known as Feller Plates. So it sounds like you already start out the game in one of these awesome armor sets and can then collect the set of the other heroes so you can check out their playstyle too. The loadout customization goes deeper in the form of myriad slots that every armor set should have. So basically an option to upgrade that gear with augments that should change up the gameplay. And the example they gave is for an augment that heals you and your allies whenever you hit an enemy's weak point for survivability or you might insert a different augment that summons deadly magical missiles that target nearby enemies for soft area of effect damage whenever you hit a weak point. So enemies seem to have weak points and hitting them will trigger some of the augments. Pretty cool. And in the short gameplay they shared, like really short and it's also not in the best quality. Pretty weird that they do not just share this in 4K or anything. Either way, here we see some of the enemies that we can expect, like a Mordekaiser, Reinhardt looking guy with a an hammer and other armored enemies too. And maybe this is in the air world or the earth world, because they note that the world of this game is split up into earth, water, air, fire and spirit realms. And in the trailer you actually see the earth realm towards the water realm and with the obelisk there and in the game that is known as a skybreaker monolith and we should learn more about that at the start of the game and we see this boss that we can likely encounter early on as well and i'm totally curious and want to get my hands on this game but it also seems like your typical launch game if you know what i mean like more a graphical showcase title with limited story and that is also just there to highlight some of the new features that the playstation 5 can do like it was already noted that they will use the exceptionally powerful ssd on the PS5 to offer a new level of detail for each individual object, so likely the loot we can find in this game, as well as a seamless loading of our expansiveness world. So like no load times is going to be one of the big things next gen, so being able to instantly jump into a level, smash some bad guys, get some loot, and then like quickly join a friend in mere seconds is of course pretty awesome. And they will also use the adaptive triggers and haptic feedback of the PS5 controller. So for example, when you use a different weapon, the controller feels slightly different, like a heavy weapon feels heavier than a light weapon, something like that I would imagine. I'm personally really curious how expensive the levels really are because from the sort of short things we've seen it looks pretty linear and mostly in like a floating space with like the background being just clouds or anything. So hopefully there are more things happening in the background there too. But yeah, Sony sees something in this game and for some reason they paid the money to make this a console exclusive title for the PS5. Something that makes me think that a game like Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is simply not ready for launch yet. Otherwise you would not make such a deal I would think, right? If you already got an action RPG as a launch game. Maybe they did it because they wanted a multiplayer game as well. This game can be played in co-op with up to two other players. And the game should scale based on the amount of people in your team as well. 
Again, I'm really curious, and I think this will be a title that we hear way more about alongside all the PlayStation 5 news. The rumored Demon Souls remake from Bluepoint Games is likely also a launch title, but do you really want that to be one of your only launch games? You also want something else. So that's why I think we see Godfall, because the bigger games like Horizon, Spider-Man 2 and stuff like that are simply not ready for launch yet. But yeah, it will be interesting to follow, of course, this year. I really can't wait. Let me know your take in the comments down below. And don't forget the giveaway there too in the pinned comment. I will keep an eye on everything PlayStation 5, of course, and report back here on the channel. And Godfall as well, because again, it totally looks interesting. So totally subscribe to the channel for more on that. A like on the video would be really appreciated. And check out my previous video on why 2020 will be the best gaming year ever. I really believe that. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.